This is Coogan Cassius for IFL London. We're inside the Grey Civic Hall here in Essex for the Cold Greaves promotion show with me. I have renowned trainer Don Charles. How are you, Don? Good evening, young man. How are you? I'm very well. Um, well, let's just tell it how we are at the moment. You're here with, obviously, Andreas Evangelou. His opponent, Mitch Mitchell, is stuck on the motorway. It's nearly 10 o'clock now. It's looking unlikely that this fight will happen. Absolutely. I mean, look, um, you know me. I'm going to give you my usual lines. I'm a firm believer in God. It's God's wish, for whatever reason, that this is not going to happen today. And um, it's just one of those things, you know. Um, my, my guy, Andres, is prepared. This is his, first, his actual first fight under my am training. Yeah. And um, he was looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it. And unfortunately, it doesn't appear that it's going to happen because of uh, the accident of the spillage. There was an oil spillage uh, on the M11. So the opponent, his opponent um, is stuck in that. It's not his fault. Unfortunately, it won't happen. It doesn't look like it's going to happen tonight. Mm. All right. Um, Derek Tsutora, looking very impressive against mm. uh, Edmund Gerber to mm -hmm. become European heavyweight champion. Um, mm -hmm. For a tough, tough two fights, didn't he? He was fighting literally the best heavyweights in the world. And he seems to have put on a run together of now three successive victories yeah, and he I mean, seems to be firmly back into the heavyweight mix. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, look, it's like any, in any sports, whether it's tennis, football, you have a bad run. We had a very bad run, in, you know, and obviously you have to go back to the drawing board and look at yourself, reassess and say, see where you've gone wrong, where we've gone wrong. And we've managed to do that and regrouped and the second coming. Um, of Mr. Chisora, um, made a few changes and um, he's accepted that he's going to totally commit himself and apply himself to the sport that he actually loves, which is the difference you're seeing now. Um, he's matured in, in all as aspects, yeah? Um, he's older, he's hungrier, and um, yeah, I'm really excited for the future of Derek Chisora because I think he's is now going to, um, from this platform where we're, we're on, he's going to spring from it and do great things. David Price was on ringside yesterday saying that he would uh, entertain a fight with Derek Chisora. So okay, what do you think about that? Fantastic. I mean, look, you know, um, it's, it's good. The British boxing scene is very good at the moment. The heavyweights, like I've always said, is very vibrant at the moment. If Mr. Price wishes to, if that's his wish, and he feel, feels that he can challenge there for the European title, it's a very good fight. But I wouldn't really recommend it for him because, like us, we had some losses. We had to regroup, have some fights that winnable fights, or well, one winnable fight, and the other two fights we've had have been very tough fights for Derek. Mr. Price needs to at least get one win under his belt before coming anywhere Derek Chisora. But should he want to come straight to Derek Chisora now, we'll accept it. But I doubt, if, I doubt very much if he'll do that. I mean, I know, I know David very well. He's a really nice man. And my recommendation to David, if I were you, and I really like you a lot, and that's why I'm saying this. If I didn't like you, I'd say, oh yeah, great, you know, try and get a win, get your confidence back up, and then perhaps fight Derek. Yeah, he's... Um I mean, on ringside, he said he's playing with some maybe have a couple of fights this year um, away from the limelight, you know, not talking yeah. bills and things. Yeah, yeah, just to yeah. Get his, you know, get confidence back up. Well, and, that's more like it. If, yeah. if that's what you said to me, then yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. I thought he meant like his next no, fight. No, he, he, he oh, wasn't right, really right. saying about My that apologies. being his next fight. He wanted yeah. to, um, he said about the loser paying, paying okay. Fury also being an option for him. Oh, yeah, as well. most definitely. Oh, he, okay. You know, all right, you know what? I retract what I said. Um, I should have been a bit clearer, sorry. Um, so it might be my yeah, fault. I retract what I said uh, um, a minute ago. Um, so if that's the plan, they, that, definitely. I mean, listen, before his losses to Thompson, I mean, he, he was being touted as the next big thing, David Price. And I still believe that I'm a fan of David Price. I think he's well schooled. And if he hits you, you're going to go, right? Um, but, you know, hey, who's to say? Let him carry on doing what he's doing doing good in the future should we go and capture like a world title which I believe we're going to and Mr. Price comes through what he should come through hey let's keep it here it's British yeah let's keep it on in Britain yeah okay. well, just uh, finally obviously another one of your fighters Roddy Camacho mm -hmm. in a British title eliminator against uh, Tony Conquest uh, this fight we've been talked about for a while I think the 
Tony's defeat to Neil Dawson and also Roddy losing as well probably this fight didn't come sooner rather but it's happening now so yeah. it's, it's a great fight that oh, way it's a, it's a fantastic matchup and it's going to be a very exciting fight and um, the two styles will merge yeah it won't be a boring fight can I assure you the two the two styles will merge and make a very great entertaining fight for the audience and um, may the best man win I think they're both very well schooled fighters Tony Conquer is a very well schooled fighter and my man Wadi Camacho has got the power yeah, and good boxing ability, and it's going to be a very interesting man. I'm looking forward to it, you know, and may the best man win. I believe my man is the best man, uh, will be the best man on the night, um, and I believe we're going to be victorious. All right, with Don, listen, it take too much of your time, so thank you very much for talking to iPhone Number as always. And we're going to come down to your gym in the next couple of weeks. You can uh, oh, show, yeah. show me how you do the pads. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, like I said to you before. You've done so many people. Till you do the done on the pads, you haven't done it. All right. I'm definitely going to come down. I'll pop down into my video. I look forward to it. I really look forward to it. Definitely. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, And we'll uh, catch up with you soon. Always a pleasure. Kogan Cassius with Don Charles here for iPhone London. Thank you very much.